So as you can see here, if I go to, I think the last page, um, in this two week period, right, from here to here, in this two week period, I made $35,000 selling just this product, okay? But after all the fees and the expenses, I actually made nothing. Five years ago, I was a 19 year old dropout that watched Netflix all day and struggled to pay his phone bill on time every month. Two years ago, I made my first million dollars online. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I did it, the mistakes I made, and the advice I would give myself if I was to start all over again. It all starts with Amazon. When I was looking into business ideas, I knew that I wanted three things, control, passive income, and scalability. Now, there's a lot of different business opportunities and different ways to make money online, but a lot of them didn't match up with that, like affiliate marketing or drop shipping. I didn't get the control. If I was to do copywriting or phone call closing, there's no scalability, right? I needed to trade my time for that. Or if I was to start something like an SMMA, a social media marketing agency, I knew it wouldn't be as passive. I would need to be continually looking for new clients. So I decided to sink my teeth into Amazon FBA. So the way it works is I am private labeling products and using the Amazon FBA program. Now FBA stands for fulfillment by Amazon. So it means Amazon is fulfilling your orders and doing a lot of other cool things as well. So I get the control. So what I'm doing is I am finding products that I deem to sell well, that the market on Amazon people want, right? So you find products that people want and then I'm gonna take these product ideas, I'm gonna make an improvement, or I'm gonna make a differentiation. So find a way to stand out and then I'm gonna get this made cheaper somewhere else like China using a site like Alibaba. So I take this product, I get it made somewhere else, I send it to Amazon and then from there there, Amazon is fulfilling the orders, right? Fulfillment by Amazon. So I get the control and then I'm creating my own product. I'm not drop shipping someone else's product. I'm not the middleman. I get scalability because I get to use Amazon's huge network of warehouses and their huge platform, right? I'm not stuck to just doing it on my own. I get to actually, all I need to do is order more units and Amazon will take care of the rest. As long as I know that more customers are gonna keep on, continue to buy my product on the world's largest e-commerce website, I can scale it to the moon, right? And I get the passive aspect of it and that once the product is sent and shipped into Amazon, people just buy the product and I get paid for it. Now I'm not a rare breed of person that's doing this. I'm sure you've shopped on Amazon. Over 80% of households in America have a Prime membership account. Now what most people don't know is that when you go to Amazon and you buy a product, 50% of those sales, 50% of all sales on Amazon come from third party sellers. People like me, like you that are using this platform to sell their products. And 50% of all e-commerce sales, all sales, product sales on the internet come from Amazon. So they dominate that online retail space. So that means if the majority of sellers on Amazon are third party sellers and Amazon owns 50% of all e-commerce sales on the internet, that means that 25% of all internet sales come from third party sellers on Amazon. So there's a lot of people doing this. So this is a proven method to make money. It's just the average consumer doesn't know about it. Now the best part about this whole process is that I never need to touch the products. I'm not ordering it to my house. I'm not storing and holding a bunch of inventory or making them here. I'm getting them made overseas and sending them straight to Amazon. So I'll go to a website here like Alibaba, right? Now this is Alibaba website is one of the biggest wholesale websites in the world. This is where you buy products in bulk, right? So you'll go and find a product like this fireproof bag. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy them here for four bucks, okay? And then you're gonna get them. You're gonna look at them. You're gonna inspect it. It's a fireproof bag. And then you're gonna go ahead and send it to Amazon and you're gonna sell them for 15, 16, up to $58 for these things. So you're getting them made, you're marking them up and you're making some money. But of course, it's not that simple. And if anyone tells you it is, they're lying. Because this is a product I actually sold. I actually tried to do this. I actually went ahead, I bought them for, I don't think it was four bucks. I got the price down a little bit. I tried to sell it on Amazon and it didn't make any money. And you can see right here, I started getting sales, 
like 2,000, 8,000, 11,000. But after everything was said and done, I was negative. I was getting zero, zero, zero. And there's a few reasons for that. I didn't do enough research. When I first got onto Amazon, I wanted to just jump at it as quick as I could and I didn't do my due diligence, which led to the number one mistake I see for new Amazon sellers is I took shortcuts. I shortcutted the process. I just Photoshopped images. I didn't take my own pictures. I did a lot of things wrong because I didn't want to go the long route. I wanted to make it as fast as possible. So a lot of my first products were failures until I finally sold one of these, this guy right over here. Now I'll show you here on page number four, as like I said in the beginning, this thing started actually making money. Right now I got $35,000, but I made nothing. But eventually I started profiting, started profiting, started profiting, and it started to actually work for me until it didn't, but that's a different story. Let's talk about what made it work in the first place. So your million dollar ticket on Amazon is probably not gonna come from one single product. And that is a big misconception that someone is looking for a home run, runaway product. That's usually not gonna be the case. It's gonna come from multiple good products that are all profitable that slowly build up your portfolio. So the key, number one, is to understand how to find great products or how to analyze a market to understand what a good product looks like, right? You wanna be finding things like this, well, maybe not, but you, you don't wanna be finding things like this for sure, or you don't wanna be making this mistakes on things like this, okay? Um, you want to know if it's gonna be good and it's gonna be good for the long run, for the sustained, um, you know, foreseeable future. So that is step one, understanding how to look and know what you're looking for because the, all the money on Amazon is made by finding a great product. The next thing you're gonna need to do is set aside time. Okay, you wanna start a business, you wanna make some money online, you can't just see it as just a side hustle or a side hobby. You need to set time aside to really build a business, right? You're trying to make seven figures, you can't do that um, with two hours a week. You need to put in a little dedication and a little sacrifice. So number three, you need to have some money and that's the cold hard fact truth of this is that Amazon FBA takes money to buy an inventory, right? You're buying products for, you know, a couple bucks on Alibaba, whatever it is, and flipping them for a higher price on Amazon, but you know, to buy 500, 1,000 units of something that's, you know, $2, that's still about $2,000, right? If you're buying 1,000 units. So you need to have some money saved up um, for capital to make your first initial um, product investment. And then finally, the one thing I wanna tell you is that if you're actually gonna take this seriously, and again, it is a real proven model, 25% of all e-commerce sales on the internet come from third-party sellers like myself. So there are literally hundreds of thousands, millions of people doing this, so you know it works. Right, you go to Amazon, you buy a product, it's from someone like me. So that person is making money. But I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be super easy because the number four thing um, that you need to do is you need to understand the risk, right? You, this is a risk, this is a business. There are chances that you're gonna fail. And I just posted a video of how I lost $32,000 on failed products. And that's, yeah, that sounds scary, but if it wasn't for that, those failures, I wouldn't have been able to make a seven figure business out of it. So understand the risk when you get into it. This is not a get rich quick scheme. And if I was to start all over again, the two pieces of advice I would give myself is number one, I already told you, don't take shortcuts, okay? Go through this long road. Invest in yourself. Take all the time you need to learn. Go on through, go to YouTube, find the videos, go to my channel if you have to, or other channels and find other, you know, Piece it together, really learn, take as much information as you can and take the time to invest in yourself. Number two is to reinvest your earnings. Now again, it's not gonna be easy and it wasn't for me at the beginning, but if I stuck to it, I started making money and then I started making a lot of money. And my first instinct was to go and buy things and have some fun, but you know, don't do that, okay? If you stick with it, you stick with the hustle, you start making a lot of money, reinvest it, reinvest it, reinvest it, grow your business as big as you can, um, at least you know right away or at, off the top. You don't, I, I really, hurt myself in the long run uh, by spending some of that money to do fun things instead of putting it back into the business and growing it up, blowing it up as fast as I could, uh, as much as I could in the first you know, two years. So those would be my two pieces of advice. And if you want to learn more about Amazon FBA, because again, this is just scratching the surface. This is just kind of showing you what it is, how it works. If you want to learn the actual steps and how to do it, I've got a new book free in the description, 1K a day e-com secrets. Um, that's my goal for everyone is to make 1K a day. That's when I believe that you are set for life. Now, if you wanna get that, again, description, it's free. Or if you're ready to just fast track your success, fast track your Amazon progress, go ahead and join my mastermind. It's seven bucks, same price as a McDonald's combo. Get in there for seven bucks to get all the step-by-step -step Amazon FBA essentials uh, so you can actually get started right away today and know 
exactly everything you need to know how to find a great product, how to find a great market opportunity, uh, and all that cool stuff. And look, you don't need to be a genius to do this, okay? If a high school dropout like myself can do it, basically anybody can do this. All you need to do is have the you know resilience, stick to it, work hard, have the hustle, and keep going. Again, like I said, it's a proven method. There's lots of people that are doing this. Then you, when you go on Amazon, you buy a product, you're, someone else is making money. It might as well be you. Just gotta learn how to take the steps to take that action to make it work, all right? That's all I got for you today. I'm JT Franco, the no bullshit Amazon seller. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.